Hello, I'm Bill Dawson. I'm at Oakland Nursery. I'm at the Columbus location. I'm amongst all these awesome fall decorations. Lots of pumpkins, gourds, corn shocks. And uh, this past week I've been getting some questions, some gardening questions, and I thought we'd answer a couple here today. Uh, one was on grass seed. Is it too late to scatter grass seed out and, and repair some damaged areas in the lawn? I would say no, and it's not too late yet uh, to do small areas. Go out with a hard rake and scratch up those areas till you see the bare soil, uh, loosen it up, take some good uh, grass seed, try to match your lawn with either rye or bluegrass or a blend, and just sprinkle that grass seed over the bare spot that you've prepared, and then get some good quality straw, we've got lots here, and uh, crisscross that over where you've just planted your seeds. And then wet it down good, soft shower, keep it moist, right through the fall, and even what doesn't germinate will germinate in the springtime. But you'll get a good stand of grass, a good start this fall, so you can still do those bare spots. If you're doing your entire lawn, you might consider waiting until spring and have the perfect weather and a growing season ahead of you. So another question we got was actually a viewer that saw one of our earlier videos on uh, creating a, a patio paradise, where we took a lot of outdoor tropical plants outside to the patio. So I want to bring in Jody Dawson, who is our house plant Hi. queen and uh, greenhouse manager here at Oakland Nursery. And so, yeah, she's asking, you know, when do I bring those in now? She took out a lot of her tropicals and her house plants. How can she safely? Well, in? now that it's fall, you do want to keep an eye on the nighttime temperatures. Um, usually, I recommend bringing them in 45 degrees or below. You really don't want to go below. But once it starts hitting 45 degrees, that's a good time to bring it in. Then you won't have that fear of getting frost or a hard freeze on them. So before you bring them in, you might want to shower them off. Maybe wipe down the leaves a little bit if there's any insects that are trying to hitch a ride to come inside. Um, you know, check them. Check the leaves. Make sure that they're nice and clean. Maybe do, you know, a, a little tickling of the soil on the top layer yeah, just to, to get... A, we don't want to find a toad in there, No, right? you could find a toad, plus a lot of dead leaves may have settled gotcha. down there that you need to clean off. Okay. Um, but just keep an eye on the weather. The, the weather is key this time of year when you should bring your uh, house plants in. And they can get damaged by the cold and freeze, so get it inside before that happens. Very good. So we'll continue to answer gardening questions as you send them in. And... Um, I'm Bill Dawson, and I'll see you next time.